breakdown time all right so today we're going to be learning how to do this instagram effect that i've used in a few anime edits you could do it in valorant as well i mean pretty much anything but <clears throat> to start it off first you're going to want a background node and if you want you can change it to the four corner and like change the colors or whatever you want with it so i have mine like a light like a little instagram thing so light blue pink purplish and then light blue again and once you have that make um make another background and turn it into a little box so like uh if you want you could turn off the size aspect and then put it to put the x size to 0.6 and then it'll be a little box this is where you're gonna put your your post and so for next you're gonna want to add your little profile picture so what i have is I have like a little k on profile little k on picture since this is from a k on edit so you just turn it make it into a circle using the ellipse node and then um, for outlines you could use you can copy the same ellip ellipse node and uh, background four corner again and you could just change the colors to whatever you want and this is what i have it top then after that you just put it on the top left corner because that's where the profile picture is next is a username for the account and uh, I have it as a, uh, you know, a K on, random K on, like, username. Next. Or make sure it's, like, right next to the profile picture. Uh, and then I also, for this font, I use Nanento. And uh, next, you, your clip. And what you want to do is get your clip. This is a little K on fit part thing. Uh, add, add a transform. And then put the size to 0.6 and then you should you should be good next is little dots right here you don't you don't this is like optional if you're going through like if you're going through like the clips and stuff like you're trying to add like a little slide transition or something so to do that uh get a background node and an ellipse node and then um put the ellipse to like 0.4 with a width and height to 0.4 make it yellow and then for transform, you could just um, make it smaller, put it like put it in the size. So auto, for me, it's all the way in the left. Then um, next one, you just copy and paste the background nodes. And then um, what I like to do is I like to keyframe the color on the beat. Just copy and paste, put in order. So I have like six six dots. And make sure to either gray or yellow. And then like on beat again you could just like if you're switching through like slides like an actual like on actual instagram uh make sure the keyframe the colors are keyframed and just change the colors on each one and then after that you can just put it near the bottom under the clip you could add a drop shadow if you want and yeah it'll look like this so now we're almost done next is this little um i don't even know what this is called to be honest it just it shows how many um how many slides there are and so to do that what you want to do is get a rectangle rectangle node put the corner radius to one background node you could uh you could put it a black and then put the alpha to like 0.75 then um next is your text again when it's like sliding through the clips you could also change like keyframe the number and then like make sure it like goes so like this is one out of six two three four five six so you could just like make it keyframe the numbers and then uh yeah you just put text over add a transform put it on the top right of the, the clips and then yeah there you go that's how you have it next is the heart the like so you can grab any like you can grab any picture of a heart on um google just search up like heart instagram heart png or something like that if it has a background you could always luma key it then transform to make it a little bit smaller you could change it to whatever color you like soft glow it if you need to then transform transform put it on the bottom left and then that's that next is the comment section so again you can get a png of a comment the icon from instagram 
Again, you can just make it smaller, put on the bottom left to the right of the heart. Next is the share, the share icon. Again, same thing. If you um, find it off Google, you can Luma key it the background. Then just same thing. Put it in the bottom left, and then you should be good. Next is the the heart, the favorites. Um, yeah, this one you could you could find a PNG for it. Uh, this one it was hard to find, so I had to just make the background yellow as well, and then just merge it together. Just have it like that. Put on the bottom right this time. Then next. Uh, you could, I mean, this is optional. You could put the Instagram icon on the top right, and you can again, just you can just get a PNG of a Instagram icon, then put it on the top right. And then for these arrows right here, uh, to like, you know, when you're on Instagram, you could like swipe through, it would show the arrows to see if there's any more on the left or right. Uh, to do that, you need an ellipse background node, circle it, uh, put it the color to black, and then put the alpha to 0.75. For the text, it's just, um, you can use this font, the MSUI Gothic. That's the font I use, I guess. And then, you, yeah, you could, um, you could put the arrow, face it that way. You just put it on the right. So this one is facing the right. So I put it on the right side of the screen. And then for this one, same thing. Ellipse, arrow. I inverted it so it went to the left side, to the left side, and then uh, just put it on the left side of the screen. And uh, I mean that's it, pretty much. That's how you make the Instagram effect. Uh, again, you could do, you can make it in Valorant, like any game. You could do it in anime. I feel like anime would work best. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's how you make your little Instagram effect. That's it for this video. All right, bye.